Kandagawa Clean River Saves Our Life. I agree. Clean rivers save lives. So I woke up today. Today is December 11th, 2020. I woke up this morning with a message from Roman Beast that said, hey, look, the Tabe Log Hyakume 10 2020 for ramen is out. So you watched my recent video, we did a round table with, with Ramen Beast, with Frank from 5am Ramen, Edwin from the Ramen Hunter podcast, and my buddy Hiroshi, also part of the Ramen Beast team. And we kind of compared our, our top 100. I'd been 90, I quickly crushed the last 10 on my list. Now the new list is out and I'm at 97 out of 100. But luckily, the three shops I haven't been to are all uh, generally in my neighborhood. One is about 10 kilometers north of me. One is about 10 kilometers south, uh, southeast of me. And the other one is in Koenji, which is uh, kind of my neighborhood, so no problem. I think I'm gonna hit up two shops. One, two in a row, get to 99. However, the first shop I want to go to, called Soup Men, when I check Google, it says permanently closed. But then when I go to their Twitter account, it looks like maybe they're only doing takeout omiyage ramen. I'm 99% sure it's only a omiyage style ramen. But it's 10 kilometers, some good exercise. I'll jam up there. Uh, crush a bowl or just buy a take-home kit to make it home it's all good does that count does that count if I uh, if I go to a shop like that anyways let's hit the road I'll do the video a little different this time we will just do a speedy time-lapse on the bicycle with no pauses no brakes all the way from uh, here and a West Shinjuku up to Itabashiku. Let's go. So, obviously closed, but I think I can get a to-go uh, box. Hopefully it fits in my bag, my cycling bag. Not the biggest thing, but let's go for it. So now Google is going to be able to get this box. Yeah, この感じですね。あ、そうそう、そうです。ああ。あの、いいな、中はすすめ。あ、そうですね。はい。あの、ちょっと今、麺がこっちは27インチぐらいまで、その金魚が。ああ、どうぞ。つけ麺とかやります家
おお入った入った<笑>じゃあまたケンケンペやってみましょういや頑張ってありがとうございますはい今日はありがとうございますサンキューですあどうもあうい,いやーナイス<笑><笑> OK ナイス I got a、uh, I got it to go make it at home That's good. That's the only option at、uh, Soup Men for the time being during this Corona time. They're doing a little、uh, delivery and、uh, takeout, cook at home business. So I'll cook that up later tonight. Next shop, south of here, eight kilometers. Easy, easy win. Let's head to. Yama no Ki in Koenji. Yamatoki makes a simple bowl. In this case, simple is best. The soup uses local Saitama soy sauce for a decent salty kick with no use of chemical seasonings like MSG. Chicken, kelp, and some dried fish. It's subtle and smooth. The noodles are made in house with a higher water content than other shops' noodles, for a weedier taste and firmer texture. Though this shop technically isn't Kitakata style, it reminds me a lot of that kind of homemade noodle. Solid. I want to try their shio ramen as well, which uses salt from the Goto Islands in Nagasaki Prefecture. Gochiso sama, delicious. That was great. You know, it's one of those standard,、uh, standard, but one of those sort of high quality shoyu bowls, kind of a kitakata style noodle. I like that. Very simple. I like that the, the green onions on top were like really nice, very firm and crispy, rough cut. I like that. Something a little different. All right, I'm close to home. I'm gonna head back. I gotta do some work at home. One more shop on the 2020 Hyokume Ten. Maybe I can do it tonight. I don't know. Mai Kagura has only been around a few years, but the ramen has a legit pedigree. 
The owner trained at none other than Nakamuraya, and he brought their unique approach to ramen with him. Although the shoyu with yuzu looked great, I went for the tori python. Chicken necks from Iwate Prefecture are boiled with water. That's it. I ordered the limited crema bowl, which is blasted with hot steam before serving. This further emulsifies the soup, turning it practically pure white. Flavored with salt, this is one elegant and filling bowl of ramen. Uh, yeah, let me know how many of the current hundred Tabelog Hyakume Ten you've crushed in Tokyo. Leave a message in the comments. You know, the site's in Japanese, so good luck. <laughs> Figure it out. It's a hundred shots, a lot to look at. Uh, yep. I hope uh, you enjoyed cycling around with me. Again, I'm exhausted today, I don't know. Okay, so it's obviously uh, a different time because I have a haircut. But yeah, let's, uh, this is what I got from Soup Man. Uh, uh, noodles from the factory, uh, you know. These kind of plastic noodles for these omiyage packs, they're, they're usually made with some uh, chemical seasoning, chemicals to keep them kind of fresh. Quite often it's just uh, just a little bit of alcohol added in to the mix. Uh, you know, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of noodle. Uh, usually when I open it, sometimes it has like kind of funky smell. And then, you know, the piece de resistance, whoa. French, para, para. As uh, we've got the, uh, concentrated soup pack and a little uh, spicy umakara miso umakara miso spicy miso mix to put on top in a well, anyways. so yeah this is uh, it's your typical omiyage ramen so although soup man is one of the hyakume ten that i had not been to and i did go there and really crush the bowl at the shop that brought them fame with these concentrated soups. You can never make a, a truly stellar bowl. Or maybe you can. Let's try it. Anyways, I'm putting a big asterisk next to that 100 out of 100. But that's what we do. They'll open sometime in 2021 and then I'll go and... Uh, anyways, yeah. Let's uh, let's crush it. I'm not gonna show my cooking because my apartment is a mess right now. Here it is. There it is. <laughs> let's let's get involved. A little spicy miso on top. I I mean it looks all right. I don't have the topping situation going here, but let's try some. It's tasty. Future from minutes into the future. Uh, crushed it, by the way. But, you know, it came with this pack of spicy miso. And you're supposed to use one third of it for each bowl, but I just dumped the whole thing in there. But it was super good with spicy miso. So, yeah, maybe that's a trick with these uh, omiyage ramens is uh, get your own, get your own spice. Spice it up. But, mm. Mmm, crushed, ooh, it's spicy at the bottom there. No, no, it's not that spicy. A little spicy. Just a little bit. But, yep, that made it, took it to the next level. Uh, yeah, back to the past a few minutes ago. This is good. And uh, I noticed on the Instagram that a lot of people making those at home, they're making their own... Uh, fried oyster toppings and they're really going ham on it but mm. Mm. solid three servings thousand yen three bucks a serving i'll take it hey that's what most people pay for the uh premium instant noodles at a, a 7-eleven convenience store this is much better but there we go. That's a hundred out of a hundred with the asterisk. I got it. Oh, thanks for joining me on my ramen adventures. Um, yeah, 
This might be my last video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get another video out before the end of the year. But if not, uh, sorry, I'll see you in the new year. A lot of announcements for Roman Adventures coming up. Have a, have a good one. <laughs> yeah, y'all be good everyone. I'm out of here. Hey, thanks for watching another Roman Adventures video. I've got links in the description. I've got a merch account. If you like this video, like it, subscribe. If you really liked it, check out my Patreon account and I am out of here.